Okay, you guys, I'm here to talk about Love and Hip Hop Atlanta Season 9, Episode 5. So, I'm not going to go step by step on story by, I'm just going to go stories. And if you want a full review, make sure you're checking out my other YouTube fam, like Ashley Miller, Color Me Pink, Scotty from Mr. Still Standing, James Caldwell, Spiller Boy TV. Make sure you're checking out those vloggers as well. It's my seller, like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. So... Um, it did start off with Rashida and Kurt being, um, having a date night or whatever, and he fed her some waffles, because they first date was, uh, I guess, chicken and waffles, or Waffle House, or some goddamn right. So, they had a, a nice date night, they want to have another amazing, well, better 20 years, or whatever, that's all I heard, I don't care, they talked about their family, I didn't care. Um, this episode Rashida wants to invite the girls on a ski trip I said you know what I'm here for it I'm you know I'm always here for um women getting together going out on a trip having fun you know what I'm saying minus the drama I like to see women get together and go on a trip and have fun so that was uh Rashida's storyline she invited um Mimi Bambi Sierra, I think that was it. She invited them first um, to a, a ski store and let them know that she wanted to do this ski trip. They want to know who all going. I'm like, bitch, the cast. <laughs> Why y'all worried about who all going like y'all ain't going? Like, the cast is going. Regardless if y'all didn't get along with the girls or not, y'all was still going. Like, stop. Um... But it's, like, mainly her homegirls, like, you know. So, she tells them, like, Spice and Carly and, you know, her homegirls. So, I don't understand. If you know Rashida gets along with Carly, too, why are y'all asking that question? Like, come on. Um, so, then I didn't, you know, it bothers me that, Sarah, you was begging Carly for, um forgiveness and you were so sorry but as soon as you get around bambi it be like oh i don't know about cardi i don't trust her I, da, da, da. girl stop like girl stop i just didn't like that so anyway carly meets up with mimi and um mimi and rashida they didn't really talk about the trip but i'm quite sure they talked about it up in that in that scene, they talked about Sierra's daughter getting into some trouble. Sierra had went with Shooter to um, to go talk to Shooter and her other son because, you know, they was just having, like, their family night. And, you know, the daughter has been giving her some little problems. Well, both kids been giving her little issues and stuff like that. So they went and had, like, a parents talk with the kids. They Sierra talking about Shooter would... The kids would be happy if they was back together or whatever. And I'm like, girl... Y'all been broke up. Them kids over that. That is not why they acting up. They fucking teenagers. That's why they acting up. It ain't have nothing to do with you not with they daddy, they stepdaddy, when y'all been broken up for a very long time. Stop. Unless you been hitting this nigga off camera, y'all been broken up a long time. You been with a whole nother dude. You cheated on that dude with a whole nother dude. Like, girl, stop. Um... Then we find that we get the story of Sierra's daughter getting jumped in school. I saw Lovely T's video when this happened. So, I'm not going to be like, oh my God, that's so fucked up. Da, 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 da. Now, it was wrong for the mama to jump in it. I thought that was really wrong for the mama to jump in it. But when I heard the story on Lovely T's channel, I got it. Because <laughs> what they not telling you on here and what I saw on Lovely T's channel is that the daughter was problematic at school. The daughter was supposed to get the other girl jumped and the other girl just end up getting her mama end up getting to the school first before Sierra uh, called her mama. That other girl was supposed to have been the one that was supposed to have been getting jumped and it kind of backfired. I don't know how true it is, but that's the story I remember Lovely T talking. And Lovely T was showing um, all kind of messages and stuff like from other kids at the school saying that Sierra daughter thinks she's better than other people and that she did all this. Now, if you was, um, you was supposed to jump that person and it backfired on you, 
I, hey, it, it was what it was. But I do think the mama should have been an adult in the situation and be like, we going to catch her after school and we going to make y'all fight head up. You know what I'm saying? If you, you No. So I'm not with the mama jumping on that little girl whatsoever because the little girl was 14. What I am with is Sierra, stop being a motherfucking punk, bitch. Like, fuck that. Like, you was just fighting charges. You got off that. That mama would, fuck the news. That mama would have had to see me, especially if we live in the same damn building. Uh-uh. I ain't going to no news. I ain't, con bitch, we gonna handle that. That's how, that's how we roll. Um, so, I don't know how that was. I was glad that when she went to go talk to Shooter with the little girl, Shooter didn't automatically jump on the little girl's side. He did say, you know, what happened where the mama had to jump in at. But when she started talking, it looked like Shooter knows that little girl be into some shit. And like he said, stay away from the drama. Now, I know people say it's easier said than done. But girl, please, I, I avoided all that shit when I was in school. So, no, I fought because, hey, it was time to fight when I did fight, but other than that, no, I stay, I, you know how to not be with, around certain people, not to get into certain shit, so, a lot of these kids be wanting to be seen, and, and, and I'm not just talking about her daughter, these kids, period, in this generation, wants to be seen, people want to have their cameras out, yeah, I'm never going to be the type of per person that, like, my my kids don't do shit wrong when I know they're teenagers and it happens. Either they're going to be the followers or they're going to be the leaders. But it's going to be a happening where they're going to be around some drama and run to a fight and look at a fight and be a part of a fight. It is. I've had that situation where my daughter have got jumped on some bullshit because some girls just didn't like her. I, I've had that issue. Trust me. If you follow me... And no, my daughter got jumped, was it, almost two years ago. Um, I was at a, a park. I was at a concert. And they and she, and she her dad called me and said that there some girls jumped me. Y'all don't understand how fast I left that goddamn concert. And how fast I was over there and said, the police better be there before I get there. Because if they not, it's going to be a goddamn problem. And luckily they was there before I got there because... It was going to be a goddamn problem. But I had already told the police, if y'all don't do nothing, I know a, a lot of my homegirls with kids that, that that we can go handle this situation just saying, and it could be a fair fight. Um, because I know when I, my daughter got jumped, they were saying it was like, oh, um, they was like, it's kids on kids. So I was like, okay, I know some kids then. I'm going to go get some. And then it's going to be kids on kids, and don't call me when the outcome come. Just saying. That's the kind of mama I am. Um... So, we just got to watch our kids and not say that they won't get in the stuff. They, Because they will. Um, what else happened? Let me tell y'all, because I, I can already say it because it's already been on Instagram. Yeah, Bambi has been sick this whole damn episode. And she don't know why she's sick. And it's because she's pregnant. Congratulations, Bambi. You having a girl. I seen the gender reveal on Malaysia's Instagram so, congratulations to them. She pregnant. <laughs> That's what that was. Um, I think it was 30. Um, so, anyway, what else happened on this whole situation? Because I want to talk about Jock things separately because that was serious. So, when they go with Rashida to go on a ski trip or whatever, um, she couldn't go. Right before she, the ski trip happened and she was supposed to go, Kirk's son was arrested on gun and drug charges. He had a little bit of weed, a bag of weed. I'm like, how much weed? Stop saying a little bag of weed. Y'all, <laughs> that boy probably had a quarter in his core. Stop saying like he had a $5 bag of fucking weed. He probably, <laughs> I'm not saying that the charges wasn't um, trumped up or whatever, but... Don't act like your son. First of all, you said that they, you said him and the other girl, Rashida, was, you said him and the girl was from the restaurant and yet they was going to do something. Why they got guns and weed in the car? You act like they was doing something for the restaurant. Why were they going somewhere with gun and weed in the car if he wasn't licensed to carry the gun? Like, why, and why you got a sawed off shotgun in the car? I, something weird about that. 
Just saying, people be trying to make their kids seem like the victims and they be doing wrong shit instead of saying, hey, he did some shit, he got busted for it and it was what it was and we need to see what the judge is going to say. Be honest. Um, but she go tell the girl she couldn't go on the trip because of that situation. I totally get it. I respected her way more than I respected Sierra punk ass going on a trip knowing your daughter just got jumped. I'm like Carly. If my daughter get jumped, she's going to be with me, especially you don't drop her off at her stepdaddy house and make her go stay with her stepdaddy because this drama. Now, I understand her staying with him and not going to that school no more and getting better situations, but bitch, ain't no one word I would have dropped her off and been on a ski trip. Oh, she want me to go. Girl, your daughter is 14. Of course she wants you to go. She wants you to be gone for a couple of days. You already said, girl, Sierra, shut up. Um, then she's going to say, oh, me and Cardi friends again. And I'm like, bitch, no, because she called and told you sorry about your daughter. That y'all friends again? That don't make y'all friends, stupid. That don't make your friends. Um, This whole thing with Jock. Jock met up with his, he met up at the rest, I mean, the salon he kind of, uh, like partners with old girl and I'm sitting uh, I was like old girl if you ain't been here in a year why you here just to film here like no go film some fucking where else with Alexis like why are you coming oh because I'm coming to check on my investment if you ain't checked on your investment in a motherfucking year fuck you Jock um, let me hurry up before my camera die um but he ended up ha wanting to have this panel talking about um uh, sex trafficking. So he went to Alexis and he asked Alexis to come and talk to his peoples about her experience on sex trafficking. I thought that was the most, the best thing about this episode was talking about sex trafficking and what girls go through and what your daughter can get into, what your sister can get into, your auntie, whatever, what people can get your family into. Um, so I thought that was the great thing to talk about. Kudos to Jack. I didn't like him at last episode. But this episode, in which you and Alexis was talking about, and Akbar were there, I, that's what I like. That's what I like. Educating your black people, your community, on things that's going on around them. So I was here for that. Um, Karen King and, 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 and um, Scrap Sister is beefing over a phone bill. I was so here for this conversation because I be here for Karen King just talking shit to people. And the way she talks shit to people well, don't be no little petty ass shit. But they was arguing over a cell phone, which is petty. But I think they both took it. Karen is still mad that this girl is messing with Shooter behind her son's back. So, yes, they're going to get into it. Um, she said homegirl had been getting smart with her. I can see that. For some reason about this girl, she was a whole different girl last season. This season, she want to be seen. Her confession or her titties out, she just want to be seen. It's something about that sister I'm like, mm. So when Karen was like, um, you tell him about Shooter, I fell out. I fell out because I was like, ooh, it's about to get good now because Karen don't give a shit on how she said when she said, and I'm here for it. Um... And that was really the episode. If I missed anything, my bad. Oh, Bambi being messy on that damn bus talking about, oh, I, um, I'm um, i surprised that, that Sierra and Carly is on this bus together. I said because that's because Sierra don't tell you as her friend that her and Carly, remember, because why Sierra ain't tell you they friends? Because she think they friends. So why she didn't tell you that they got damn friends? Like, Hmm. Yeah, and that was being messy. I was like, oh my God. And then like Carly said, that girl didn't just mush her. That girl mushed her and she pulled her fucking hair when she was going getting carried out. So don't act like Sierra didn't do nothing fucking wrong. And then I want to see the shit between Spice and Shekinah because Spice said she don't like Shekinah no more. And I was like, ooh, I can't wait to see how this going to pan out because I like Spice and I like Shekinah. So I want to see how this pan out because, like, damn, you talking about her behind her back. Knowing Spice is going to confront and don't give a damn, I'm here to watch it. I'm here to watch it. Um, I think that's all that it was. Uh, shout out to Scotty from Mrs. Still Standing. Make sure you watch him too. Shout out to Kevin and Mama Scorpion. I'm still praying for them. I'm feeling better, but uh, hey, she's still fighting and, and we still here rooting our own with this fight. So shout out and prayers to Mama Scorpion. Shout out to Kevin, the Scorpion Show. Love you down. Um, and that's all I got because my camera going to die and I need to go charge it so I can upload this video. <laughs> 
All right, you guys. I'll talk to y'all in the next video. Peace.